Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm and we're back with the Hunter Call of the Wild today. We're going to be looking for water buffalo. Supposedly they're bigger than Cape Buffalo. We did we are bringing the 338 here. Big gun right here just to take them out. Um but I'm thinking they're going to be over here more. That or they're going to be extremely north. But we're going to have to we're going to have to a little bit of a walk. Um we find them, we find them. If we don't, we don't. But I do want to take one down. They are supposed to be bigger. So, you know, big game is always fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying this map. Um, They are working on bug fixes for those who are crashing in the map. I've had one crash thus far. It is aggravating, especially when you have something down and you're going to it and you crash. It just does not feel good. Let's continue. Alright. So we did have something disturb the... You know, wilderness over here. A lot of people are telling me they're having trouble taking down some animals. Pick the right gun. Uh, make sure you're always using polymer tips. If you only have soft point when you first start the game, just go to Layton Lake and take down a uh, black-tailed deer. You get a good amount of money, and that's the right rifle for that. I mean, you can also take down white tail if you want, but that's up to you. Black tail is smaller than white tail, I believe. I might be getting these confused, but I believe the 270 can be used on the uh, white tail. Or it's vice versa. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but, you know, the only distinguish is the color of the tail. Size is also a thing. Wait, I believe. I believe the black tail is smaller. That's why it takes a smaller caliber round. Anyways, polymer tip ammo, though. Don't use the soft point. It's just doesn't work out well. That black buck can be taken with a 270. What is our distance? 180. If it pops out in the next 10 seconds, we'll take it, but... I don't think we're going to get that chance. It's all right. Didn't look like I had a good set of antlers on it or anything. So we're going to continue. You know, a lot of people wouldn't give up a buck like that, but... I don't feel like chasing. Probably already heard us or smelled us and it's just going to run. I like those nice clean shots where they're just standing there ready to take it. That or if they're within 75, like, meters of you, like, right about there. It's always a nice shot. goes right through. Don't worry about penetration into the lungs and heart. You can also study the animals to find out where their hearts are and make the, that shot a lot easier. I usually aim for spine. Um, I just can find the spine a lot easier in most animals. <laughs> usually vertebrates, you know, are in the same spot on most animals. But you always have a chance of flushing it if you aim for that. The heart, if you're aiming at the heart, usually you'll hit lungs if you miss. That's usually a kill as well. Or at least a quick kill. Don't shoot mooses unless you have the right rifle. And we'll say, I have hunted mooses across Leighton Lake before. I am liking this map, though. It's nice and clean. Uh, we get a black buck make, mating call of a female. We have a lot of tracks. So that means we must have one of those large herds that we saw last episode. So we're going to give it a nice walk up the hill. If you can see in the bottom right corner, you can see my uh, volume of like how much noise I'm making. And we're in the white level, so we're not doing excessive noise. I forget. I think each red bar is 25 meters, and then I think each white one is 10 meters. If I can't be mistaken, and you have to add those. I don't remember. The exact math there. Or at 50 meters per red bar. I forget. But yeah, I'm walking through bushes and stuff, making a lot of noise. Stay out of the bushes, and I'm not making any red noise. They also have eyesight. You gotta remember that part too. They can see you. <laughs> Most of them will seem blind though. Yes, those are black bucks. That's a stump. We do have a nice hill. Just 
scanning. I spooked him. They saw me. That's a kill. Another kill. That was right in my range of the 270. Polymer tip right through. Probably spine or we got some lungs. I don't know if this rifle's too big for the black buck. It's fine though. It's a kill. Sorry, it's two kills. Very nice. Got that tree for cover. Put it right down. One of them is male, which makes me happy. Males have a chance of getting higher trophies than just bronze. Nice diamond here and there is always nice. And then if you want, you can look on your map and see. I saw them there. Spotted right there. Purple means a kill. If you hit something that runs off, if that turns purple, you killed it. You just gotta go find the body. That's mule deer. Right, this is where we spotted them. We got one body. This is our male. That's a gold. Right there. So 270 is too big, so we're gonna have to use the 243 for the black buck. That would have been a diamond, maybe. Yeah, that would have been diamond. That's a gold. Unfortunate, but I don't exactly know the kills yet. This is Black Buck. Yeah, 243 must be the right rifle. I'll stop using the 270. You'll learn. Is it Mule Deer that I can use the 270 on? So if you ever need to know, park a wildlife. There we go. Uh, let's see. Mule deer allows for weapon class two. Black buck, weapon class one. Smaller. Okay. Axis deer, one, two, four, three seems to be our weapon of choice. I do like the two, four, three. So it's not a bad rifle. Not as much penetration though. Obviously, 270 is my favorite rifle. Perfect amount of ammo and perfect amount of penetration. All right, we're down by the water now. We can get it up to a sprint on those rocks. See, we're just putting out red bars like crazy now. If we stay on the rocks, I mean, we're not making as much noise. Very, very nice. We usually can find quite a few by the water, but if we can't, we can't. Hopefully find our kills. There we go. Go zero for 300. Bullet's gonna head up. Am I getting a prone posture? And it's down. If you're wondering how I zero, I hit F. I have a skill. Bottom right corner. I can zero for 300. And if it's at 287 and I want to zone for three, the bullet's going to head up. Um, if it's th over 300, the bullet would go down. 
That's just how zeroing works. Basic. Basic principles. Teach you guys a little bit of things. I mean, what are we? All 56 now? I'm not doing bad. Put enough of this game with bow hunting, shotguns for ducks. If you want to get your shotgun score up, go hunt duck. <laughs> it's just too easy on late leak. You just put down the little decoys in the land all around you. I made a video on that. We're gonna slide down. Hopefully not die. Alright, we are gonna run here because our kill is way over here. Over in I don't even know what zone this is. But I don't want to go in the water. I know that for sure. Those stumps look just like a sleeping deer. Run diagonally. Technically on shale, I believe you're supposed to run like that. <sighs> There's so many hills between us. We're getting a little bit of scouting done. We haven't even entered the new zone yet. <sighs> yep. Alright. That killed us. Playing a dangerous game. <sighs> Hill climb. Where is it going to spawn us? <sighs> Alright. A place we haven't discovered? No. Nope. All the way back at camp. Wonderful. Alright, we're going to do this a different way. I'm not going to go get that kill. Unfortunately, that will ruin our consecutive harvest, but... Let's take the ATV. We're going to head here. Take the trail in. So if you press C on your keyboard, you can switch between first person and third. I am more of a third person kind of person, but a first person doesn't make for accuracy. You can see a lot more in third person. And you can see that, you know, costume you bought for your character. <laughs> Mine's wearing the safari costume right now from the savannah map. A little bit of jump lag. Not a big deal. We hunt, though. Making an extreme noise. Whew. We'll head up towards the trail. We'll be quicker if we're on the trail. There's our trail. Alrighty. The other thing about it is, guys, is if you want, um, you don't actually have to buy the DLC. If your friend bought it, you can play multiplayer with them as long as one person owns it and they're the host. So that's how, you know, a lot of the other guys are joining me now in multiplayer. They didn't buy it. They just play with me. But you can't play single player by yourself. That's, that's where you pay money for. So if that's something that just interests you, if you just play in this multiplayer, Probably buy it together. Okay. I just want to move into the new zone. Been down towards that lake down there. Juanco al lago. Someone please translate. Alright, we're gonna step off. This looks like a fantastic area to hunt in. Look at the open, open ground. Let's 
unfortunately, in this area right now, it's going to be very docile because we were just riding the ATV. Unless we spooked a horde to just freak out. Not a horde, a herd. We do have some broken branches. We have a puma in chase. Long gone now. Let's see what this animal is. It's mule deer. Very nice. Good to see some deer up here. Yeah, it's a perfect place to hunt. I do like this zone. I'll probably set up a tent up here at some point. I also got to start studying the times of these animals. Um, animals come out at different times of the day in bigger packs and much easier to hunt at like nighttime. But YouTube side of things, nighttime hunting for you guys is not the best. Uh, after renders and pre-renders and all that stuff online. That's a hunting circle. Someone let me know. That's a hunting challenge. Right, mule deers did hear me. Hunting stand. I like to set those up for EXP. I have enough money to do it. <sighs> Must have just winged it. Did not die. Let's just wing it as I knock over everything on my desk. No big deal. Hopefully be able to find the body. If it dies. <laughs> These new hunting stands are pretty dope. Go right up inside. Yeah, I like this. Looks like there's a window there. How do you hunt out of this? Is this the only open window? Very unsure. There's our ATV. You got a lot of sight here, though. That deer did not die, the one we shot. Do you like the sight lines? You know, that deer did not die. Must have went right through, like, pure flesh. Purely fleshed it. Which is fine. I mean, it stinks. I'd like to get that kill, but we now have a deer that's wounded somewhere on the map, and I'm going to end up shooting it twice and thinking I did well. Just to find out it's already kind of dead. It may still have time to die, but... Wow. I do like the sight lines. I like the long range kind of kills. Yeah, you bow hunters, I'm sure it stinks. <laughs> so. There's probably our mule deer. Gonna reload real quick. Making a lot of noise, but if we can just pick it off. Oh my god. I didn't even see that.
Alright, we did get a couple of kills out of that. Oh, that's a vital pit right there. Loving the herds here. See, a 270 might have been the right choice. Yes, you would have lost integrity, but you would have ended up with more kills. I can only imagine where they are. There's our mule deer flipping out. Where is this body? I can shoot them all a hundred times. They can die and they probably roll down this cliff. Better if they're not part of the same herd, they can separate, which just makes it even harder. Oh, man. All right, we're not going to scour the hills for some females that I probably shot. their direction. I just heard a weird noise that I haven't heard before. We are going the right direction. to where we want to be so that's real nice zero road for a 150 or about what 150 i would say not really taking my time to take these shots which makes it a lot harder to plant it the right direction usually just kind of end Aim for a center mass and hope on these quick shots. Which way did you guys go? Those mule deer can take a pounding. I'm wondering if soft tip might be better for mule deer, maybe? That was a kill. That one was probably upper neck, spine. Hopefully. I want the male in that pack, though. He looked big. General placement of the kill. We'll at least find blood there. Spread wide here. There's that blood. Here's our deer. Oh, that's the one I put right down the lumbar. Really? I swore that bullet was higher, but the wind. I don't have a really calculating wind lately. Which is very important to actually calculate. Did we ever hit the male? 
No, but he's 140 pounds. I really want that male. That sounds like a big male. 140 kilogram. I mean, probably can switch the pounds if I wanted to. I know you guys went this way. Question is, why has the trail disappeared? We're making the most noise possible. All right, there's our trail. Big wide open field here. Yeah, we're never gonna catch up to them. Unfortunately. Let's head towards this water down here and then see what is going on. Oh, didn't even notice the time. We're actually going to end here, guys. Thank you guys for joining me for today's little Hunter episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more Hunter. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day, everybody.